I'm going to show you how I painted Minnie Mouse like Andy Warhol. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now and make sure to click the bell for notification. So follow along, enjoy the process, and let's get right to it. So if you don't know who Andy Warhol is, he's this artist that is famously known for this painting that he did in the 60s of Marilyn Monroe. And he did this silkscreen painting where it was just several images of Marilyn Monroe. And, and just, she was in the same, uh, facing the same direction, uh, just different colors on each. Uh, well, I've seen some variations of it where they're, they either all look the same, but it's all the same, um, but it's several Marilyn Monroe's on one photo, I mean, uh, sorry, on the, on the painting, or where Marilyn Monroe, it's the same image of her, but different colors and different color contrasts. So that's what this whole idea right here is uh, with Minnie Mouse is uh, I did I did four different backgrounds on this painting put them into four different rectangle sections um, and so you see the background colors right there and then I used tape to um, to to uh, make a hard line in between all those paint colors and that's what you just saw a little bit earlier and then I used a Cricut machine to cut out the shape of uh, Minnie Mouse and then I used that, uh, I used the cutout paper of that you saw a little bit earlier. I taped it onto this canvas and then used my airbrush to basically spray paint that shape in there. That way I didn't have to draw Minnie Mouse, like her whole outline and get the composition of her body right four times to get it exact. It was just uh, easier to, basically like a stencil almost. Uh, but, and that's what that Cricut machine did for me. And so after I did that, then I went in and hand drew all the details of Minnie Mouse for each individual one of these um, paintings. So it's basically like four paintings in one. And that's what we see right here now. So uh, the, the first Minnie Mouse that I did on the bottom right, which was the, uh, the red background, I, I, I drew her in. I mean, I, I, yeah, I drew it in and then I painted over that background red. And I figured I had a little bit of a hard time getting those uh, peach colors of her skin and the white color of her glove to stand out. And I had to keep relayering. And I had to be very precise and not paint over different things. So I went back. Um, sorry, I didn't go back, but I decided on these next three mini mouses that I did to just mass paint white um, all all across it, where I where I know it's going to be lighter colors. And then I went back and I did a couple layers of that. Then I went back and then put that peach color, like that kind of skin tone color on her face. And so you could see where I, where I had done that. And then I went in and put in the details and you can see I'm putting in the, the ribbon and the clothes where the clothes are going to be on this, um, on this bottom left one. And then I went back and so I'm hopping in between all of these different mini mouses. And the reason I'm hopping in between them is that you probably can't tell, but it's drying time. And I do have a, an air dryer, which, I'm which I use to dry it up pretty quick. But there's times where I could just let it dry on its own. Um, and and um, I could let it dry on its own and then move on to a different mini mouse. And that's the that's kind of the fun part of this painting, too, is that, you know, I, I could start doing something on one and then hop over to the other uh, Minnie Mouse uh, painting picture. So it is, I just move around as uh, the, the paint lets me basically. So here you can see I'm using, I, and I'm using uh, for these outlines and, and to get me these hard lines, I use, uh, I use these Thule Art paint markers that I use in mo a lot of my videos. I've been using it in a lot of my videos lately because I just love their acrylic paint and they give me better control than um, than the paintbrush gives me when I have to get these real detailed lines in here. So uh, now I'm on the top two, and you can see I'm using that uh, acrylic paint marker again. Um, I'm putting the link for that acrylic paint marker in my um, in my description uh, down below. So just take a look at that if you're interested in getting these acrylic paint markers. They're really useful. 
real fun uh, and, and there's a different variety of paint markers that uh, come in those sets. So now I'm drawing in the glove uh, for this one in the blue background and then the mouth. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of these fun projects. I'm going to do a lot more uh, this 2021. I'm really going to push and, and make a lot of different art projects. And if you are a former artist that wants to get back into it, I know a lot of people that used to draw and they drew back in, you know, in high school or when they went to school. And then nowadays they just don't have time to, but they kind of want to. They want to get into that. that this is for you. You, you can watch this give you ideas you can see what what you need to get to, to, to slowly get back into it if you wanted to or if you always like drawing and, and you just like enjoy watching drawing videos this is for you this channel's for you and uh, so make sure you subscribe and so now I'm just uh, drawing uh, I'm using black paint and uh, on the paintbrush to fill in uh, I, I could use the paint markers to fill in those black spaces but I I like to use the actual paintbrush with the um, acrylic paint when it's wider surfaces. I like to use the acrylic paint marker when it's uh, when I'm just doing these lines. And so you can see I'm I painted in some white for the eyes. I use that that heat gun and getting those final details in. And then I had the cutout from the Minnie Mouse, and I just placed it over Minnie Mouse and used that airbrush to get some shadow in and make Minnie Mouse pop on all those uh, versions. So here we go, uh, Minnie Mouse. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to post this uh, painting on my Etsy channel. I mean, sorry, on my Etsy account. So that link's going to be below and you can buy prints or buy this actual painting. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.